Hi guys, in today's vlog I'm going to make a quick uh, breakfast, um, you know, it's nothing hectic, just a nice you know, French toast vibe breakfast um, and yeah, it's one of those days, maybe on a Saturday when you wake up and you're like, you know what, I feel like a good breakfast, then this is a recipe for you. I'm going to be using minimal ingredients uh, and so yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to be taking you guys through the ingredients that will be required for this um, delicious meal I'm about to make. Uh, so I'll start off with the bread that I'm using. So I am using a very high fiber bread. Um, for two slices, you get like 10 grams of fiber. And I know our daily recommended fiber is somewhere around 25 around there. Not so sure about the exact figure, but it's in the 20s. So already just by eating these two slices, I have hit half my required fiber. Um, intake for the day. I'm also going to be using two eggs um, and this will obviously be my protein source and then I'll be using some fresh um, blueberries and then also some fresh raspberries. These are going to be uh, where I get my minerals and vitamins and then I will be using a xylitol, um, xylitol syrup. I'll be using xylitol syrup um to make sort of like a flavored syrupy thing really just playing around here hey i i'll see how everything turns out but i know what i'm doing in my head um and this is the salt just for seasoning that i'll be using so let's get right into it so the first thing i'm going to be doing is preparing the eggs you want to make sure that the bowl you're using is one in which the bread can sit flat in and soak because that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to soak the bread in the egg so that it can absorb all the goodness. Yeah, it's sometimes breaking an egg. You and then I'm done with my egg. And then I think I'm going to add salt here already. You can add salt, salt to your liking. Uh, no particular way and then I'm going to immerse my bread I'm going to immerse my bread in the the egg right so that it can just soak it up for a moment I'm going to leave it here for a bit yeah and I think I'm going to do the same for the other one and then I'll prepare my pan so you will notice that um, this is the second bread that I'm letting soak in the egg and the first bread has already soaked up most of the egg which means it is kind of ready so when you first soak it this is how it looks and then it will later on look like that where it has soaked in every little bit of the egg so now I can um, go and prepare my pan so that we can get um, the toasting started so once again, you guys know I love me some cold pressed coconut oil and that's exactly what I'm using in this video. I just used one teaspoon of coconut oil and now that our oil is uh, ready, it's hot and ready, we can now start putting our toast on here. So be careful sometimes if it is soaked for a while it can actually fall apart so just be mindful of that and now for the second French toast so I'm busy making the syrup sauce you will need a bit of water so you will add a bit of water And then you will mash, mash the blueberries. Then I'm adding a bit of the xylitol, xylitol syrup. And our syrup is so to say ready. So now I'm just going to decant my blueberry syrup sauce, something like that. I don't know. So that will be my blueberry sauce 
um, and this is obviously my French toast. But right now, I'm thinking I'm also gonna make a raspberry sauce so that I can taste what's the difference between the two. So, now we're making the raspberry syrup sauce. So you add your fruit to a pan. You take a little bit of water, not too much. A little bit, and you need to mash your fruit. Amazing. It tastes just like raspberries. Duh, obviously. You used raspberry in the recipe. So now I'm also just gonna decan my raspberry sauce in here. And this guys is then your finished product. This is fresh fruit um syrup French toast. It looks divine. So that was like the ultimate alternative, a healthy alternative, the ultimate healthy alternative to French toast, to be honest. Because first of all, not only was the meal I just made very low in calorie, let me explain what I mean by that. So uh, if you use white bread or your normal brown breads that you find every day, brown bread and white bread each slice is a cal uh, 170 something 100 and something calories right so that i know for sure um but it's above 150 and then so you're going to have two of those right so all all together you're having only in the bread about 300 calories already right so then on top of that you're going to add two eggs right so eggs are also a bit higher on the calorie spec because it's healthy fats so i'd say two eggs are about two cal 200 calories right so that's like 300 calories for your two slices of bread and it's like 200 calories for your eggs right and then you are then going to add a syrup to it like proper syrups you know your normal syrups and that would probably be another 200 calories, right? So all together you are having for breakfast uh, 300, 300, about 700 calories just sitting down French toast alone. And, and I bet you that's not going to sustain you. You're probably going to, in three hours time, feel like another snack or you want to eat again or you're hungry, right? This is now the average human being I'm talking about. Whereby, what I used, right, the two slices that I used, each of the, together, they are 150 calories. So that's already half your bread consumption, half of your calorie consumption in your bread, right? And then, first of all, mine is high in fiber, which means it sustains you for longer, right? And then I'm going to have my two breads, like my two eggs, which is exactly what you had. So I'd say 200 calories. So that's already 350. And then I used fresh fruits, right? I used blueberries and raspberries. And I didn't even use, I probably used one third a cup of it. And those fruits are very low in calories. So I won't even count them as a calorie they probably eat 20 calories or something like that and then i used a very little zaluton i just like strip like you know and i'd say let me see what are they saying about sugar calories per 100 gram it's 240 um calories so i obviously used way less than that so let me just say for heaven's sake i'm going to add another 100 calories just for sake i know it's not 100 calories but already you can see that i'm in 400 calories right now for my entire breakfast and you would have probably been eating 700 calories do you see the difference between just eating healthy you don't have to starve yourself you don't have to eat things that are not nice you can still eat the same things you love eating but you're just gonna make healthy alternatives which will automatically be lower in calories 
and imagine doing this for over three months there's no way you're not going to see a drop in your size right while obviously limiting your fast foods probably just have one cheat meal a week if you can manage that but yeah i just thought this was a perfect example of how i can take a conventional meal um that everyone eats uh, and turn it into a lower calorie and healthier alternative and it still tasted divine so yeah thank you for watching my channel guys um thank you for watching this video in particular please 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 subscribe um so that you get notified whenever i post um, and also just thumbs up comment uh, you know talk to me let's interact um i love that and yeah so thank you once again